hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to open a lightning page in salesforce let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in salesforce i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go to open a lightning page in salesforce you can do it through the app builder or directly from a record or app that uses that page once you're logged into your account i want you to click on the gear icon on the upper right corner and click the setup now on the quick find i want you to type in lightning app builder and from here all you have to do is basically click the existing lightning pages all right so you have the account record page contact lead record opportunity if you wanted to click on the account record page click the edit option and this will open the lightning page in the light app builder all right allowing you to view edit or customize the layout and components so for example this one right here right you can drag you can do something you can click on upgrade use this you can basically um, tweak the settings for as long as you want and once you have done that all they have to do is click the uh, save action right here you have the option to analyze an activation you see for the desktop view you can shrink to view you can choose in a uh, hundred percent if you wanted so these are going to be your options if you're using the phone you might want to hover to this option right here shrink to view if you click the option you don't have the uh 100 percent for a tablet portrait orientation you might want to see this all right make sure that it's intuitive and responsive in other devices you might want to check the uh, tablet orientation and of course as i've mentioned earlier you can drag and drop comment components i'm sorry to customize the layout and appearance of your lightning page and again after making changes to a page remember to activate it before it's click and save for users you want to set as the default view for specific profiles or record types all right and once you've done that i think um once you have checked all the information and again these are going to be the fields that you can add in this section all right and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next one